All right, so I'm sitting here with my good friend Armagon. I'm hoping to ask her a few questions about the absurdist play that we had a chance to see in Paris. Uh, it, was, it was Eugene Unesco's La Cantatrice Show, or The Bald Soprano in English. Uh, so the first thing I wanted to ask was, were you looking forward to seeing the play, despite the fact that you're not a, a French speaker? Yeah, I definitely was looking forward to it, uh, even though I knew that I'm not going to get anything out of it. But it was very exciting. I mean, it's... It's where can you say that you sat there for an hour, watched a play, and you just understood nothing. So I was kind of excited for that. And, uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed it, too. So Awesome. Really and were you able to catch any French words that you did know? Um, a couple of French words. I got uh, Boulet Roti and Bobby Watson. Bobby Watson. And I think everybody got Bobby Watson Bobby about Watson 50 times. 50 times. And um, there, was a, there was an English phrase, how do you do? And I got that too. But oh, good. Overall, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. It's always the food words that you the learn first. Words, yeah. Uh, how much were you able to understand with the help of the actors' facial facial expressions and the set on stage? Um, it was helpful with their expressions, but if you don't know a language, body language doesn't help to communicate too much. Just a little bit, but not a lot. So I feel like I got a little bit out of it, the fact that the husband and the wife were having some miscommunication and a little bit of tension between them, but not, not to understand the entire play based on just their gestures and body language. But overall, kind of, but not too much. I find that a really interesting perspective just because I was focused so much on, on the words they were saying and trying to make sure I was catching them and noticing the grammar structures that they were using. So I, I wasn't looking at body language as I much I found. So I was yeah. really wondering about that for somebody else. Yeah. Did you find yourself uh, disinterested or frustrated at any point? Uh, no, not at all. I, the, it wasn't the play that I felt. Like I felt uh, disinterested or like frustrated when it was like 45 minutes into the play and I felt like I couldn't breathe because it was so hot and there was no AC happening. It was a very small AC. space. It was a but... very small <laughs> space. But um, other than that, it was, it was cozy. It was beautiful theater though, but um, not from the play. The play was uh, fun and knowing the fact that it was only an hour helped a lot with my patience. So um, it wasn't two hours or three hours. Two hours or three hours, I would have probably lost my... Um, mine kind of because <laughs> I just wouldn't get anything and it was just wasting my time but but you would go again I would totally go again yeah me too I, totally I wish again. we had more time to go yeah yeah I would go see the second play yeah the second one. for sure yeah um, do you think that you would have enjoyed it more or less if you had been able to read an English translation before seeing it live um we had the opportunity if Colette wanted to tell us about a little bit of a backstory in English but I chose to close my ears and not to hear it because I wanted to completely be lost <laughs> but um I think it would be interesting to go read read the translation after to maybe like kind of guess if I got some things right or not but um yeah it definitely yeah would be. for first time experience I'm glad I didn't know anything if I want to go see the same play again in French, I'm probably not going to understand it, but I will probably read the English version translation first. But the first time, I'm glad I didn't. So, yes. All right. Um, do you remember your favorite part? Uh, my favorite part, I think, oh, my favorite part, I, uh, the part where the, the police guy came in. The policeman? Yeah. The policeman came in and he was just sitting there and they were like screaming screaming at each other and um There was a whole they, lot of screaming at yeah, each other. <laughs> screaming at each other and they kinda of went for a kiss, but then they didn't. I don't know what was happening there. But yeah, that was interesting. And then he gets hit hit on the head or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or the part where um the friend, the family friend, the guy, mm -hmm. the male family friend, he was really funny. I really loved his, um, I really loved his facial feature, like facial expressions. He had the most elaborate. Yeah, he has the most, he had the most elaborate. So it was, yeah, that was my favorite part. Of it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you feel that you're more inspired to learn French now now that oh, you've seen absolutely. this crazy thing? Absolutely. I'm, that is one of my goals to go back home and learn French and uh, master it. You have to give me another French friend to practice with. Right. Yeah, exactly. Me yeah. and Jesse and uh, you, yeah. Becca and... And Vanessa. You know what? I feel very inspired. You never know. Maybe in next next time we see each other, I will speak. English. Completement en français. Oh, oui, oui. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, Armagon. Thank you. Bye.